Hi guys, it's Joe here from Rufio. If this is your first time on the channel, welcome to the UK Euro Market Watch. We have some translations up here in terms of prices, some conversion rates, whatever the hell you want to call it. So you can go ahead and see what kind of prices you're looking at in terms of US dollars to Euros and to Great British Pounds. Because presumably you're from a different market, unless of course you're from Europe, in which case you don't need any of this nonsense up here if this is your first time on the channel welcome aboard you should most definitely hit subscribe if this is not your first time on the channel i'm surprised that you're back again we make fucking garbage content here yeah here you are so i guess thank you very much in either case as always with these things the euro market is slightly different to the us one of course there's much going on in the world as we very well know so we're going to take a look at some of the prices and see how they're getting on and apologies for not having an upload last week of this one we did have some real crazy technical issues which hopefully we have all but resolved so Again, we'll stop waffling and we'll get stuck right in for you. Just quickly before we do, though, let me apologise if there are any weird noises. I have a pug who sat right behind me. Fortunately, out of shot, but he's snoring, even though he's most definitely still awake. He makes all kind of grunty noises. So if you hear any of that, it's him. So throughout the video, you are going to see me looking down here. This is because my laptop is right here in front of me. Uh, so I'll be going through the prices, of course. We always go for English and in good condition or higher, so we can take a quick look through. But hopefully, we're going to get a good idea of a variety of cards across the market. There's no particular rhyme or reason with today's stuff. I will just talk through why I've chosen each one kind of out of a hat. Of course, if there are any requests you have going forward, do go ahead and let me know. But we start off with Predator Plant, Vert, Anaconda. This is one that I've been tipping off for absolutely ages that the prices were going to go up and unsurprisingly here we are at one point they were down to about 12 euros a piece uh, that you could pick these up for absolutely insane and i was saying to everyone you need to get these now before dragoon comes because as and when the time comes it is going to shoot up in price that's exactly what we're seeing here a minimum of 23 euros you can look a little bit further down as well just to get an idea of where this is trending trending upwards towards this 25 euro mark and of course that's what we can see going on here we are seeing an overall increase don't be surprised if this hits up towards that 30 euro mark at the time dragoon drops next i want to take a look at infinite impermanence i do feel this is a little bit more important than ever it's always been one of the stronger hanger 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 hand traps that you could choose for any given meta in particular at the moment though it's especially good because people are running the likes of numeron so it's a good way to out zexel amongst other things of course it has all the other benefits it always has but there's just that added incentive to have this in your deck and as a result we are seeing the prices again slowly creep up on these um the average price trend is around 27 euros we're seeing it go up towards the 28 29 euro mark and so of course that does indicate that the prices are going to continue to rise don't be surprised again if this hits the 30 euro mark in the coming weeks uh, and continues to rise there out you kind of need a place set of this in your collection so you can either buy it now or you can wait and hope that it gets reprinted but either way it's really ideal to have it for this format and probably for the next one as well Following on for that, we're looking at Halka Firax, of course, one of those cards that if you don't stop it, you just straight lose. So we're seeing these at around the 23 euro mark. Um, the prices actually are all over the place. Why is it showing me it like that? Some backwards ass shit. What is this? Am I missing something? You see this guy's 23 and then suddenly jumps to 21? Okay. Uh, in any case, we're seeing this around the 22 euro mark, I should say. However, it is quickly going up. I think a lot of people will be starting to worry about this card at the moment. We are a few weeks away from potential ban list. I honestly don't think Konami are going to hit this in any way. I think we are still in the same situation we have been, which is that there's not really a format to go off. So we may see more of an unlimit list or removal of cards, which I'm totally in favor of because again, although things are a little bit stale, we have, have had a nice injection of new product. We've got the tins coming up, so there'll be more access to better cards for everyone. And again, I think we're in a bit of a cool position where they could probably hold on by just releasing a bunch of cards that don't really need to be on the list anymore off. Like Fairy Tale Snow and that grass looks greener. Please, Konami, I just really want to play Light Sworn. Next, looking at Celine, one of those cards I just wanted to take a look at again because I've got it used against me today, and it's it's actually still really solid. Uh, so it sort of piqued my interest to see how it's getting on. They are around the four euro mark uh, overall. The price trend is going down very slightly. Um, 
but not not by much. In fact, to be fair, it's probably better to say that it's yo-yoing is probably a more accurate description because as you can see here, it is just up and down all over the place. You can get them again for around four euros a pop and the average is around four euros 80. So therefore, you can get them a bit cheaper. So something to think about. Fantastical Dragon Phantasme, once upon a time, best part of a hundred euros card. And now you can get them for six euros and 50 even cheaper if you don't mind them in a different language probably german i'd imagine they're always dropping those prices down in fact that's a pro tip for any of you that are out there if you don't mind foreign cards or maybe in the us and you like getting hold of european cards for your own play german is probably the best one if you want to save quite a chunk of money because they are always undercutting each other uh, it's quite funny to watch actually if you go on to card market you'll just see them dip 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 and all the prices just drop in and everyone's listing cheaper than each other so thank you german sellers for bringing the prices down uh six euros 50 is the minimum closer to seven euros across the board as you go further down but overall we're seeing the price on this come down quite surprising really considering everyone's running halka fibrex so in theory this should have a bit more application than usual but again it just seems to have fallen out of favor in in favor of cards that are a little bit more uh, proactive rather than defensive. So other hand traps, although people argue this isn't a hand trap, but let's not go there. Um, in favor of cards that could do more like, say, for example, Ghost Ogre, uh, Effect Failure, Impermanence, whatever, whatever. Next, we're looking at Animadorned Arcasaur, around a 30 euro mark. This is starting to creep up slowly again. Lots of people are choosing to play Dino. It's a really, really cool deck, and I do think that it'll be one of the good ones again for the foreseeable for the next few formats going forward. Where other decks will get hit, this will probably be less likely to and therefore be more playable over the long term. It is also a really, really budget-friendly deck. Apart from Animadorn itself, the rest of the deck is buttons. Obviously, you assume that everyone's got the staples. Staples will be expensive regardless of what deck you buy, but the core itself isn't too pricey. So I wanted to take a look at Gamma in the best rarity, apart from Collector's Rare, of course, because we already know that they're going to be expensive. I wanted to see how the more affordable rarities were doing, in particular the best of the affordable rarities, I should say. So for the average player, this is going to be sort of the peak of their price range for most people. Uh, and again, we're pushing towards that €10 euro mark. I actually think that this may go up a little bit, although there are cheaper rarities available. This is being played through the nose at the moment everyone is playing gamma and driver in their deck um i personally am not a big fan but i realize how strong it can be but let's not go into my personal opinions we all know that they're worth fuck all in any case gammas i do think again that they'll probably continue to move in a positive direction at the moment they're pretty cheap so something to maybe think about picking up next looking at shadol schism another one of those cards that i had predicted would go up in price and lo and behold here we are it is starting to creep up already not by too much but the price trend is around that seven euro mark these are about three to four euros on release i told everyone to pick them up and yet here we are the cheapest you can get them for at the moment is five euros but they are quickly starting to go up this is being played in all of the ligma lists uh as a sort of a one-off uh, and as such it's really really strong it's really powerful and there is a high demand for it even though it's a one-off which will keep the price from going too high you may expect to see this creep up towards that maybe eight euro mark or so Next, looking at the pre-order on Dragoon, just out of curiosity's sake, 45 euros is the asking price. Now, there is something to consider here. Konami is no longer short printing cards in main sets. However, that is not the case with side sets. Now, I believe that may be different in North America, so that, that might be wrong information. But no, at least here in Europe, that's the situation. However, this could be super short in the tins for all we know. Now, personally, I don't see it because it's one of the... Uh, how do I put it? It appeals to the casual fan base as well as the competitive fan base. We all know how strong it is from a competitive standpoint. And of course, the casual players love it because it combines those anime-centric decks, those kind of um, cover cards, if you will. And so there'll be a demand for it there. I can't see them short printing this card. Hopefully not, of course. Um, and everyone is going to need a copy. So if it is short, I'd expect this kind of price to stick because it could potentially just warp the entire meta as we've seen in the OCG. Now, the advantage is that we already know how the card works and what kind of things are good against it and what aren't. So we do have a bit of a head start, but do, do definitely consider picking up copies of this. It is going to be a key card in the coming format. And with that in mind, we're looking at Red Eyes Fusion, the best rarity available, a minimum of 15 euros a pop. I expect, again, that this will start to creep up a little bit, although a lot of players will just settle for those cheaper rarities, which you can get nice and easily. Although if you're someone who likes to play your bling, 15 euros a pop is the going rate. 
Ice Dragon's Prison, one of those cards that has seen a slight increase in play, and now that I'm very aware at this time of recording, this is being used in the remote doors by some of the uh, better players, shall we say. These are starting to creep up. Now, I'm not saying that's a direct result of that, but that is something that will likely happen in the coming days. Uh, the price trend is around that €5 euro mark. However, the minimum you can get them for in English is already way above that, which indicates that it is likely to scoop right the way up. Again, much like Schism, it's going to be one of the better options for an Ultra that you can pull, uh, that you can use at least, and we're going to see this head up towards the 8, maybe even 9 euro mark. Of course, still just on the single print at the moment, it'd be nice to see this get a, a, a rarity bump in the future if this is as powerful as it's being used, uh, but we'll see how it gets on. Next, I wanted to take a quick look at Access Code Talk. I'm one of those cards that has been absolutely through the roof, and no doubt about it, it is still up there in that 74 euro mark at the absolute cheapest. A really, really solid card. Any deck that can sort of squeeze this in and does go through the multiple of the attributes, this is absolutely wild, and you should really be making use of it. Weirdly enough, though, there's not an awful lot of decks that are. It is obviously a very, very powerful card that's been used with a lot of combo decks, but there's also a lot of decks that really don't make very good use of this, which is surprising because of how powerful it really is. Infernoble Knight Renaud, 32 euros is the minimum you can get these for. Again, overall just going up. That has been a small dip recently, but this deck is getting better and better the more people are testing with it. Really, really insane. Again, arguably one of the best decks of the format. It could be in danger if Halka Fibrax gets hit, uh, but I really don't see it going anywhere anytime soon. So you're looking at at least another few months of this. And as such, this card being in a set that basically nobody can get hold of anymore uh, we have got the unlim runs coming up soon but there's high demand on this card it's relatively short print already and it goes into a very very powerful deck as such demand is going to be high and that is pushing the prices up and along the same sort of lines, Immortal Phoenix Gear Free, 25 euros at a minimum. Again, this price is trending upwards overall. We're going to probably see this hit that sort of 35 euro mark before the reprint comes around. Of course, people want their first editions, no doubt about it. That will hinder the price somewhat. Um, but these are next to impossible to get hold of. They are really, really quite difficult to get uh, because of that shortage of the print run. And as such, we are seeing that reflected in the price. Next up, we're taking a look at a pointer of the Red Lotus. Good luck trying to get these in English in any particularly good condition. These are really expensive. Uh, a minimum of, let's call it the best part of nine euros each. So 30 euros a playset. It is still on that single print and I'm pretty convinced that we will get some sort of reprint of it soon. If not, it maybe will get hit to something like uh, Limited on the list. It's a very, very strong and powerful card. Anyone who's played with it knows. Anyone who's had it used against them knows how strong this is. It would not shock me though if we did see this get reprinted soon. Um, but again, if you've got English copies in particularly good condition and you're not using them, now might be a really good time to cash in while the price is actually relatively high. So I wanted to take a look at a couple of targets for when you're getting played against by Ligma and then they go ahead and yeet your stuff into the graveyard. Or of course, maybe you decide you want to play the trap yourself or maybe you're playing the deck yourself. So there's a couple of options here that I wanted to take a look at. I wanted to look at Nts, Nts, Nts. Elder Entity, Nts. I think it's supposed to be Natis or something like that, but it, they, they fucking spell it wrong. In any case, around the €4.50 Euros and 50 mark is about the going rate. This has started to come down very, very slightly, but the overall price trend is upwards. I would expect to continue uh, continue, continue to see this rise. Of course, demand will start to decrease. A lot of people are getting rid of Maximus as an option from their deck. So, of course, this is more players who are proactively trying to dump stuff into the graveyard will benefit from this. A lot of people are, though, however, still playing that trap in other decks because they can double up as a target for themselves to make use of to play through the opponent as well. Don't expect the price to come down too much, if at all. Uh, again, I don't think it'll go up crazy amounts in any case, but it is going to stay at that sort of relatively reasonably high demand. And next we're looking at Mechapur, same sort of reasons, and of course the, the advent of people using Invoked in their Dragma decks is pushing the prices on this up. The Secret Rare is a minimum of €10 Euros a pop. The price trend is around €12, Euros, so that indicates you can get them a little bit cheaper at the moment, but expect that they could quite easily bounce back up. Of course there is the alternative, which is much cheaper from Shadows in Valhalla, so something to think about if you maybe want to do this on a bit of a budget. 
Ghost Ogre and Snow Rub insanely important in the current meta. This has seen a massive resurgence of play. Like all the hand traps, they have their formats so they're really useful and where they're not so useful. Ghost Ogre's not been on the map for a little while, so it's quite nice to see it back in the frame. So what I wanted to do was take a look at a couple of rarities, in particular the two highest rarities. Uh, we've got Secret Rare uh, and whatever it is that's up next, I think Ulti. Um, so the secret rares are around 30 euros a pop. Um, that's sort of something in just good condition. If you want to start going towards the near mint mark, you are looking much closer to 37, 38 euros for the most part. You can get some a little bit cheaper, but of course you've got to consider postage and all that kind of stuff in there. Again, around a 38 euro mark for a secret rare ghost ogre. And then for ultis, unsurprisingly, this is one that has maintained a really high value. It's always been a pretty expensive ulti. Just one of them really big staple cards, one that people just love to have in their collection. Uh, and of course, maximum flex when you use this on your opponent's network or you use this on your opponent's Hulk of Fibrax. It feels extra good in ulti. So 109 euros is about the right mark. Uh, they are looking upwards again, all the way up to around that 150 mark, but that does seem a bit high. So you're probably looking around the 110 to 120 euro mark for each one of these in something like near mint. So we're looking at a couple of copies of Utopic Zexal. This is something that is being played. However, people have started to realize that this is actually very easy to deal with with most in deck options it is one of those cards that is still super oppressive and doesn't belong in the game in my opinion but it isn't as crazy as people once thought and as a result we are starting to see that price come down me personally i've been playing these numeron decks for the last i don't know since it got released basically in different variants it's good it, it but it's not that insane uh this particular card is pretty good but everything else is kind of feels a little bit lackluster and as such people are moving away from it and instead just playing decks that they want to play and finding ways to out this in perms uh gammas are all over the place ogres are all over the place so there's a lot of inbuilt outs to the deck not not by any means does that mean that this card is okay but of course it does mean that the demand for it will start to go down when people are dropping that as an option and moving along, we are looking at the jump promo version. These are around 16, 16 euros or so and upwards. Uh, of course, these will maintain a slightly higher value because they're the better printing. So unsurprising that we are seeing this high. I would note overall that both of these prints are quite a bit up from what they were a few weeks ago. Unsurprising, of course, but they have started to gradually come down a little bit where people are starting to drop this from their play. And speaking of Numeron, we're looking here around seven euros for network now. You remember how insane this was when it first sort of dropped and everyone thought this was going to be super short and was going to cost an absolute ton of money. And yet here we are, the prices have dipped hugely over time. Expect to see them continue to tumble down, although it is something that, again, I think is probably worth picking up for the kind of price it is. The, net the network engine itself is really, really cool. The whole Numeron thing is pretty, pretty cool, but... Overall, it's not as powerful as people necessarily thought. I do think it'll be a viable going second strategy going forward, even if we see Zexel get hit. So something to maybe consider picking up whilst it is cheap. And continuing with that, we have Numeron Calling. These are bombed right through the floor. You can get them from as cheap as a euro or so a piece. This is only played at two and again, super easy to get hold of. And that's what we're seeing in the price. And we're just rounding off with three more cards from Battles of Legend Armageddon. So the first of these is Invocation, which has seen a massive increase in play. There is a sharp fall, as you can see on the chart there, but I wouldn't read too much into that. Overall, this is seeing more and more play because more and more people are starting to pick up uh, Dogmatica or whatever the hell they call it now uh, in the TCG. And so we are going to start to see these prices creep up as demand increases. Of course, once this set runs out of production, that will also push the prices up overall. For our penultimate card, I wanted to just take a look at Chaos Emperor Dragon Arm and Arm and Arm Dragon of Armageddon. I'm getting tired, as you can tell. Uh, these have dropped down to around the 20 euros mark. Again, they've decreased by about 10 euros in the last few weeks. So it is one of those cards that is on the downward spiral. Probably something to consider picking up, though. I don't see it going down too much more. If it's something that you want to play, now is probably a good time. If it does start to see play again, you can fully expect that it's going to shoot up again in kind. And then for the last card for today's Market Watch, we're looking at Fossil Warrior Skull Knight. Uh, the overall price on this is down quite significantly, about three euros down on what it has been over the last 30 days. Not really surprising considering the deck is, uh, it's, it's lackluster at best. Of course, it's that kind of core player who wants to play those anime style decks that's always going to love something like this that will keep the price a little bit higher. And of course, the fact that it was shorted 
to fucking shit. So that will it, you know, sort of keep it up there. But overall, the price is going to settle around this sort of mark, I expect. If it was something that you wanted to pick up, now is probably a good a time as any. I don't expect it to come down much more than it is, uh, but it is considerably cheaper than it was not so long ago. So that is all for today's market watch. Hopefully you guys have enjoyed this video, found it somewhat insightful. If you have enjoyed it, you should most definitely hit the thumbs up and of course subscribe if you haven't already. Maybe leave me a comment. If you'd like to see more of this content, of course, that's the best way to do so. If there are other videos you'd like to watch, we do do some other bits and bobs, deck profiles, how to play videos, combo tutorials, and I do a lot of event vlogs as well. It's probably one of my favorite types of content to do. So if you're into seeing more of the rubbish that I get up to when I'm at locals, that's a really good way to do so thank you very much in any case for coming along if you are interested in getting some cards a little bit cheaper than they would normally be you can check out the ebay store in the link in the description of jam jam cards uk the channel sponsor i would implore you to go and check that out help me out help them out and of course help the channel grow in the process and of course save yourself a neat little chunk of money on some cards thank you very much for checking in guys i hope you've enjoyed the video and i will see you in the next one this content is brought to you in association with my buddies over at Jam Jam Cards UK. You can find the links to the eBay store and the Facebook page in the description.